Next up we have Steve Millwood from the Builders Merchant, Juicen. Thank you, Steve. Uh, okay, good morning. Um, I've been a Builders Merchant for about 40 years. And for the first 35 years of that, I hadn't got the foggiest idea what a supply chain was. We just bought things cheap and we sold it dear. And when we went to our suppliers and said, you've got to be a bit cheaper, they'd say, how on earth can we do that? We do it as cheap as we can. Well, now with smart supply chains, there's actually ways of enforcing cheapness through that supply chain to actually be able to buy smarter as well as cheaper. Um, on a, what I'd like to talk about first is a short supply chain, which is basically the manufacturer, us as a distributor, and uh, uh, our customer, a builder. Um, as I say, previously it was buy it as cheap as possible, sell it as dear as possible. But now what we can do is we can look at various tools that help us. Um, and we can actually look at a sustainable supply chain. Awfully overworked word sustainability, but in our world it means looking at the economic and social and environmental effects of things. And there are three um, methods of looking at that. There's a, a stu stewardship schemes. One is called BES 6001. There's BS 8902. And there's chain of custody for timber. Now you might not know what all of those are, but what they actually do is they, they, they measure the impact of economic and social issues on the supply chain right through it. And for a company to get 6001 means that they have to have methods in place for reducing social and, social and environmental impacts. And there's one thing I've found in the last few years for sure. If you improve your social impacts, better health and safety, less loss man days, you improve environmental impacts, less diesel use, less packaging, you're a cheaper producer. And if you're a cheaper producer, you can share that cost, that saving with your, with, through the supply chain, and the whole supply chain becomes more, more effective. And as the benefit of reducing environmental and social impacts through it. In fact, that's kind of the very simple one. That's the, that's the very short supply chain. What we, should, what we are beginning to look at now is longer supply chains. We're actually looking at the, the supply chain of a product or of a project, a building site, right from start to finish. In the case of the project type, it involves the client, it involves the architect, the specifier, it involves the manufacturer, the distributor, the builder, the guy that builds the thing. And they all get together and they actually talk. It's a bit revolutionary, but it actually works. They actually talk about ways of improving that project. We had a real live one where we actually worked on, a Cambridge, on the Cambridge Retail Park, where we got involved in this way. We collaborated with the whole supply chain. We reduced the amount of packaging, the amount of miles that were driven. And we did that by talking and looking at the impacts of that whole supply chain. And we actually reduced the cost of the whole project and we actually moved to an open book concept. So everybody could actually look at what the profit was being made and actually share the wins right through that supply chain. Probably for me, the most exciting example at the moment, um, not that many people find plasterboard particularly exciting perhaps, but the most exciting one for me is what's known as the Plasterboard Sustainability Partnership, where the plasterboard manufacturers in the UK have got together with distributors, with people from health and safety, um, with other environmental experts to reduce the amount of waste that's generated within the building industry on plasterboard, to reduce the amount of lorry miles that are driven in delivering plasterboard, and working together to reduce the environmental impacts and social impacts of that product. It's beginning to have some really good effects. The amount of packaging that's used in that supply chain is reduced. The amount of lorry miles is reduced. We ourselves, through good supply chain effect, this is Juicen alone, we've reduced the amount of packaging we send to our customers by almost 30% in the last four years. Not just on plasterboard, but generally. We've also reduced the amount of diesel we use in delivering products to our customers by 15% in the last three years. 
And this is pretty impactful stuff. It's made us a much, much, much uh, less cost uh, uh, producer, and also we've reduced our impacts. We can measure those, those lorry miles through some clever gear called telematics, which actually looks at the amount of lorry miles that are driven through that supply chain. And we have to send our packaging waste uh, information through to the government. So we actually have to be able to measure the amount of packaging we send to our customers. So these are real, real measures that we can see and real imp improvements that we've been able to measure. Um, so there we are, gone from where we were five years ago, which was nowhere, to where we are today, which is using some smart tools to actually achieve improved supply chains. But there's no doubt that the most important part of that is collaboration, talking. Talking through the whole projects, talking through the impacts of products. And in that way, there's no doubt that the building industry, and I'm sure other industries, can improve their supply chains. That's me done. Thank you very much.